so brushless generator is the idea where we can uh, remove the brushes and make the generator brushless so the generator without brushes is known as brushless generator okay so now i will explain how we will uh, i will explain the construction of brushless generator uh, we know that uh, this is the stator this whole part is the stator and uh, it is a stationary part and it is having a winding this winding this winding and this winding three windings are there so this winding is constant and it is not rotating and we know uh, when the conductor is cutting the field that time the emf is produced but here in this case the conductor is stationary but our field is moving actually we want the relative motion between them the field is moved then also okay if the conductor is moved then also okay so here in this case we will rotate the field and produce the field that is cut by the conductor and hence the emf is produced now this this whole portion from here to here all is on the shaft this shaft is connected to some generator ठीक and uh, uh, all this part is rotating part and all this part all this part is the stationary part okay so now this this field is uh, normally produced by a dc current so here we want a dc so how we can get the dc here without uh, conducting any wiring so for that uh, we have this full arrangement so i will explain this full arrangement so here the dc is coming uh, and that come to the field and it will uh, that come to the this conductor and it will produce a field okay so this field this dc is come from this uh, this diode and this diode is converting the ac into dc up to here uh, we have a ac supply and here we are getting the dc supply now see this dc supply uh, is getting from this ac and this ac is we are getting from here so this is this conductor uh, here is actually producing the emf which is ac in nature which is ac in nature so ac supply we are getting so how we getting this so i already told you that if we have a field see this is the field which is produced by the dc here we apply the dc supply okay so that dc supply will produce a field and uh, remember this part is the stationary part so here this field produce and this part is the rotatory part now i told you there is a relative motion either it will move or it will move here uh, the field is mo moving and conductor is constant the emf produce but in this case our field is constant this field is constant but the conductor is moved and conductor is rotated and this uh, field is cut by the conductor and emf produce okay so due to this the field is produce here and this this field is stationary this field emf produces ac in nature for that we require a diode and that diode will help to produce ac into dc and that dc is going to uh, produce the field again which is cut by the conductor and hence we will get the uh, emf that will be used in the various purpose so now we can see here here we are applying dc either we can apply a dc with uh, small battery okay so small battery we can use here and give a dc here so that is for that we require a uh, different battery here so what we can do we cannot take this dc from here we take this dc from avr avr is automatic voltage and regulator automatic voltage regulator so it's one of the function is it apply supply a dc to the exciter field this is the exciter field this is the ac exciter uh, this is the rotor field and this is the stator okay so here this ab is getting supply from here the output we are getting now from where it is uh, ac supply is going and that going to the avr which is convert here it is in ac in nature and it is convert into dc and this is going to the uh, exciter so our generator is running it is continuously supplying uh, 
giving a supply to the AVR and from AVR it is continuously giving a DC to the AC exciter and hence is convert into and uh, convert into DC and field. So now you can see here uh, this is uh, looking great and for example if our generator is running then there is no problem. Let us consider a one more example in that case our generator is not running and generator is stopped or we can say alternator is stopped. So alternator is stopped means uh, there is no supply here, no supply here in area, no supply here and no supply in field. So if there is no field uh, our this uh, rotor is rotating but here is no field it is not cut by the conductor and no AMR will produce. So our generator will not run. So for that in starting we need to supply this field. Uh, we will not supply with the battery. What will happen? This this coil having something called a residual a residual magnetism. So when we stop the alternator, that time what will happen? It will retain some type of small field, and it will retain for weeks or even for month. And when you start the generator, this small field is produced by the residual mag residual magnetism. So that residual magnetism uh, is again uh, cut by this conductor. Uh, field is cut by this conductor, and AMF produced starting in starting that emf is very low for example our generator our alternator is designated for 440 volt 440 volt and in starting maybe we are getting uh, 200 volt then this 200 volt again goes to here and abr increase the supply to the field and slowly slowly it will start increasing 200 250 350 and 440 like that uh, and uh, when it is uh, reach its uh, rated voltage 440 volt uh, after that ABR give constant supply to the, this field and we are getting the constant voltage here 440 and uh, that we can use the way uh, at the various uh, by the various consumer so this is the simple diagram and the simple explanation of uh, brushless generator and sometime uh, I want to explain one more thing. Uh, sometime uh, if you are not started your alternator for a month or six month or more than that. So in that case uh, this residual magnetism is lost. So for that you need to apply a battery here and give a residual, a residual magnetism again to the field. Uh, give a supply to the field and then remove it and it will again uh, retain some residual magnetism and when you start there is nothing prob no problem either. So after if a long period of time you start the generator and you will find there is no voltage uh, you start the alternator and you find there is no voltage here so there is one chances are there that that residual magnetism gone and for that we need to give a supply to this field by external source uh, that may be a battery or some other uh, through the diode or something that so this will uh, again uh, retain the residual magnetism and our generator start uh, running and start giving the uh, supply rated supply after uh, some time means uh, it will take one minute or two minute uh, to retain that supply uh, hope uh, you like this video this is all about in this video if you like this video please don't forget to hit like button so thank you